making a warm bend uh, or making a starting a warm bend so today I'm gonna show you um, how to make a warm bend from a plastic container like this so this is a 19 gallon tote um, 19 gallon tote and uh, what I did was um, to make I make a little hole here and I uh, I just put this little faucet over here so that I can empty um, I can empty any build up of water that's in the one bin. Usually I don't have build up of water in the one in this one bin, but just to make sure there's a drainage uh, somewhere. If you don't want, you can just make a couple of holes at the bottom of uh, the plastic container. So what you need first is you need a bedding for the worms and the type of worms we're gonna be um, putting in here uh, the red wigglers. So. Um, you can use peat moss so you can use peat moss like that peat moss regular peat moss that comes in the bag like that so uh, to do the, uh, the bedding so let's uh, start with the peat moss so the peat moss is extremely dry so what you want to do is you want to mix it up with water uh, and you want it to have a sponge wet sponge consistency so um, so you want to mix it up with water. Let me just wear my gloves here. want to make sure you don't um, have it too wet or too soft so we're trying to get a um, wet sponge consistency so so that the uh, worms can easily move around and eat and uh, produce more produce more so still a little bit of water And you're gonna make the uh, make the uh, pit moss based on the quantity or the size of your container. So uh, I'm gonna use this for two containers. So that's why I'm making this much. So um, so you just have to make it um, according to the size of the container you're gonna use. So now it has a wet sponge consistency. It's not too not too dry and since I'm gonna be adding some watermelons and some other cantaloupes and stuff that that are gonna be uh, um, that's gonna have a lot of water so I'm just gonna this is, should be enough and uh, should be able to, to go with this so this we just we can just put it in the container put the rest of the food inside our big moss mixture so we're just gonna So our pit moss mixtures ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our worms. So 
this is the worms that we that I got from the other bin. So you just spread them on top like that, that's fine. They're gonna find their way to the bottom. Then you wanna put the, what they're gonna eat. You can put like a search. Um, you can put, is that cantaloupe, uh, watermelon. Banana. Then you can also add uh, coffee grounds. Add some coffee grounds there, it's good. If you have tea, tea bags, you can also add tea bags. I'm gonna also add some uh, eggshells. And then we're just gonna cover it. I'm gonna cover it with the uh, Cardboard, soaked cardboard that's moist and just cover it to prevent light from getting into the bin. And that's it. Um, then you just put it in a nice dry, um, cool area and it should be able to um, get more warm castings and better compost for your garden uh, if you love the video please give it a thumbs up uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, also uh, just leave it below I'm gonna put below the video uh, some of the links of to some of the items I use on the video and uh, also my blog uh, below my blog will also be below where we have uh, more information about compost bin and what you need and uh, various things that you can put into the compost uh, into your warm bin uh, thanks for watching have a great day